hello everyone welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you how to block FireOS updates install Google Play services and debloat your Kindle Fire HD 8 so this um, works on the Fire HD 8 2018 and 2017 models and also on the Fire HD 10 2017 model um, so there was this new program that was created by an XDA developer um, so it's this app up here so I'm going to show you guys how you can um, block the FireOS updates remove the lock screen ads and so on but on my device I already well my device is the non lock screen ad model so it doesn't have the special offers but if you guys have the lock screen ads then you can remove it with this app also but the only thing that I'll be doing is showing you guys how to block the FireOS updates so let's go on the device over here okay so if you go over to settings I'm just going to show you guys that it is still um, that the FireOS updates are still there it, it hasn't been blocked so I'm just showing you guys this first of all before I continue so you see I can still check for updates now there are no updates available but I'm just showing you guys that I can still check for updates as you can see over here okay so now what we're going to do now if you do not have your ADB drivers installed on your PC I recommend that you do so because you need them so you're going to install your ADB drivers just follow your prompts on screen now I already have the ADB drivers installed so I'm not going to continue with the installation of the ADB drivers for the Kindle Fire so the prompt might just come up on screen and I will close it but in your case you just continue follow the prompts it's very simple so before you connect the device just ensure that you install those drivers so now that now that you have the drivers installed you are now going to connect your cable to the PC so you see I'm going to connect my cable now and um, what we're going to do we haven't connected the device so let's just open the program so that's providing that you already have the adb drivers for the kindle fire installed so let's just open the program okay so now you see a prompt on screen this is the a program that we're going to be using now guys just something let me just advise you further while this um, thing goes through um i recommend that you first of all block the FireOS updates because you know when the FireOS updates are installed if you do not block them when FireOS updates are installed remember that they address all the different vulnerabilities that the device has so I recommend that you block the FireOS updates first off and then afterwards you go ahead and deploy the Kindle Fire so this program actually allows you to remove all Amazon apps all those annoying Amazon apps that you have on there so you can remove them all and then install the Google Play services and remove your lock screen ads so you can enjoy all these on this program so let's just allow it to open okay so it says no device was found because I haven't connected the device so now I'm just going to unlock my device so I'm going to place it over here and um, let's move the window here a bit more so that you guys can see so I'm going to now connect my cable so now we can see that the device has been found now remember if your device wasn't found then that means that you do not have the ADB drivers installed so ensure that you have the ADB drivers installed so now on this program you see you have a wide list of options here you have remove lock screen ads install google services block OTA updates power options so the power options um, this gives you a list of options whether you'd like to put the device into the fast boot mode or if you'd like to reboot it into recovery or reboot the device or even power it off so um, also there's remove everything amazon which means you deploy the device remove all the amazon apps since you're going to install google services now for the sake of this video the only um, thing that i will be doing is i'm going to block the ota updates um, which is most important of all as you know if you allow the ota updates to install if you were to do the removing of lock screen ads or removing all amazon bloatware then after the OTA updates were 
are installed then those two things will return so that's why you need to make sure that you block the OTA updates first of all so let's go ahead and do so so it's now going to ask you if you'd like to continue so you're going to say yes so it's now going through and removing the programs So it's now blocking the OTA updates. You can see it's so it's going to reboot the device. Also, this um, program um, upon reading the comments on XDA. Um, the developer also said a new feature that might be released also to this program is um, the option to root the device now this isn't official as yet but it's in the works as he said so I'm going to just link the the forum from XDA in the description so you can keep yourself updated about this because I know many um, users of the Kindle Fire of course would like to have this device rooted as well as myself so I will post the link that in the description as well so boot up is now complete I'm going to unlock my device okay now um, let's go over to settings just to verify that the OT updates was removed so you can see the main place where Amazon have those updates you go over to settings device options system updates so you can see now that it is removed so you can see it's no longer installed it says something about parental controls but uh, this actually means that the OTA updates app has been blocked so you are unable to use it so if you tap on here again you can see that you are unable to open it so OTA updates have now been blocked so guys I am going to end the video here thank you very much for watching and of course after blocking the OTA updates you may, can go ahead feel free and use any of the options here any one of them which you'd like to go ahead with of course they all work and of course I will link all the necessary information in the description so of course make sure that you have a look at this and um, guys I will see you guys in another video subscribe to my channel like my video and share it with others thank you very much for watching and I will see you in another video